I've heard you ask questions. So I'm going to say, oh, someone asked a question um, about sport. So hopefully one of you put your hand up. Okay, there we are. You've got it all right. Okay, let's start with you. Do you want to ask them a question about sport then? Um, what, was, um, what did you do in sport? We didn't, well, we didn't, didn't, didn't really sport. have sports. No. No. We, had a, we, we had only sports, had a sports day. We had a sports day, which was the only, the only sport, sporting thing we did, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No football, no netball. No netball. No 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 no. Three-legged race, sack yeah. race, yeah. Yeah. running egg, race. Egg and spoon egg race. Egg and spice, yes. Yeah, and that's all we did. Do you know what an egg and spoon race is? They race for the coronation. Oh, okay, you do. <laughs> that's what okay. you can say. No. So there's a spoon and there's an egg and you have tried to get it and on first and if you put the egg on the floor you lose. That's right, yeah. What did you do in playtime? Yeah, we used to play marbles. Around the class, around the playgrounds, didn't we? We did, all against the wall, didn't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just generally um, like running around just like you do now, I think, you know, and skipping hoops. Um, is in, did you play conkers? We did. Um, where you had yeah, to play you had to, We did, and yes. And you did get hit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm, Trying to break the other person's conker, that's it. Is. But at the same time, you used to get our knuckles. Yeah. yeah, one year I got into trouble about conkers. I went with uh, another girl from, from the school. We went up to near Pindon Church. All the rest of the children were at school. And we'd, been, we'd been ill. So we were up there picking up conkers. In the meantime, the school inspector had been to our house. Wanted to know why we were not at school. We'd been up there collecting conkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he came around. I thought, all oh, grumps are going to be in really in trouble now. But we never heard any more. Yeah, uh, he, he came and checked up on us. I felt somebody reported that the two children were up near the church collecting conkers. Why, why weren't they at school? <laughs> yeah. Do any of you play conkers now? Mm -hmm. Yes, some of you? Yeah. Not really. No. We collect coppers, we don't collect We collect coppers, yeah, 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 I don't know, it might be just an old tale, but they, they do say that spiders don't like conkers, so if you want to get rid of spiders. I've tried that before and it does work. Does it work? Yeah. Right. Can you ask a question, please? Did you enjoy school? I like yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I like I think, yeah. Especially this school. Yeah, mm. this is nice. School. Yeah. Because you were saying that this, your secondary school wasn't quite so good. No, no. Nobody too big, just wasn't it? <laughs> too big. Too many people there. Yeah, yeah. They didn't want to know us, really, did they? No, Finland <laughs> people, <laughs> country boys. Yeah, didn't want to know. No. Someone asked a question about school discipline earlier on. Yes. Do you want to ask about that? that? What punishments were there? Well, you, uh, go first, yeah. you go first, Bob. Um, you go first, The one that gave the, the most punishment was a Miss Shepherd. And uh, when the, the girls got into trouble, she'd slap their legs and slap their arms. And she made them cry just sort of looking at their ha her hand coming, I think. And uh, I didn't ever know the boys cry. We used to smack. Uh, used to smack on the inside. Yeah, of the that's it. Yeah, really. That hurts. them up. Mm. And the other thing was, if you had bad language in the school, well, Miss Alexander was the one to issue the punishment, and the punishment was carbolic soap. Wash the, the person's mouth out with carbolic soap. And we were coming out of school one day, and there was this boy crying. So what's up with him? And he'd been using bad language and she'd washing his mouth out with soap. 
There was a poet called Douglas Rose who, who lived at the Kennels and the Finland cricket pitch. And uh, he, he was crying his eyes out and she said something to him. He said, I'm going home. I'm going up, I'm going home. And he walked off. <laughs> yeah, never get it. Never get that. That's the only punishment I've ever known. Pencil cases like pencil case. Oh, I used to have a wooden pencil That's case right. with a slidey top, yep. Yep. and it used to open out. Oh, and yeah. in there, I just used to have a pencil sharpener and a rubber, a few pencils, and some colouring pencils. But it was a, a made of wood, um, about this about this size, about the feet, and um, that's what I used to have. What were a few of your favourite subjects? Well, I used, <laughs> I used to like um, PE and I used to like English and geography. Mm. I like geography. Yeah. yeah. I like geography. Mm. Geography and history was quite yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. With your handwriting, right? mm. you, you, what did you use for handwriting and what else oh, did you use? <laughs> With that handwriting pen. What sort of pen did you make? Give them yeah, the pen, pen in the ink. Pen, pen in the ink. Yeah. The and they should have, have a, in the front, the corner of their desk, we should have a little ink well with liquid ink yeah. in it. There we are. There's a, yeah. Our desk used to look like that. And we used to store all our books under the, that is that There's a flap they lifted up, store all our books underneath. Um, that was an ink well. That's what it looked like. Liquid ink would be put in there. And we use pens like that, which we dip in the ink. And um, yeah, and we used that blotting paper, didn't yeah. we? To, yeah, so didn't we talked much. about blotting Just paper, didn't we? Yeah. yeah, and because the the ink would stay wet, you know, you're writing with, and, and it just to um, so you didn't smudge. You used to use a blotting paper, carefully placing paper uh, this paper over your writing, and it would soak up all the. Surplus paint, yeah. uh, ink. Yeah. Did you have ink even when you were very small, or did you have no. pencils? No, we had pencils. pencils. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we, when we got to about Miss Shepherd's yeah, class, she had it, yeah. yeah, and that's the middle class because it used to be three classes. The little ones would be up to about seven years old, and then eight and nines would be with Miss Shepherd, and ten and elevens with, yeah. with uh, Alexander. Miss Alexander, who was. Uh, Right, a familiar yeah. lady. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't mess with her. No, but I was surprised you didn't say Miss Alexander was the most uh, who gave out most punishment. Uh, I wish right. you did. Yeah. Miss Shepherd must have mellowed a bit by the time I came to the school, yeah. but Miss Alexander was the one you avoided. Oh, she's probably you getting did. more grumpy as she got. And when Miss Alexander, did, did you not have? Did you have the ruler, Bob, in your day? Cross your hands. I told you about that. Huh? Uh. Yeah, we used to have a twelve. Yeah, and Miss Alexander, you, you knew when she was getting angry, her tongue used to go under oh, yeah. her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when she got, when her tongue went. <laughs> yeah, you knew trouble was coming. Yeah, so we had to be quiet. <laughs> yeah. And she had tremendous e hearing, didn't she? She, yeah. she could hear the slightest whisper, so you didn't dare say anything about it. <laughs> yeah. um, so, when, when did you start school trips when you were at school? We went, trips. We, went we, went to, to, we went to London. We went to Windsor Castle, wasn't we? We did, yeah. yeah. And we went to the Tower of London on another occasion. Did you go on? Well, the same one. Might have been. That wasn't a punishment, was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. Well, I, I can yeah. tell you, I can tell you for us boys, we, we hardly went out of Findham because no, the parents didn't have cars no. uh, and the bus trip to Worthing would be a day out. Yeah. And to go to London, well, it's, it's, um, something you just couldn't believe was yeah, going to happen. No. You during the, during we, we never even had, a t when we were yeah. we never had a television in the house. Yeah, because Al and I went to, we, we started, well, I, we started about 1949, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Just not long after the We've war. We've been friends all our life. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, we used to all just knock around together in teenage days and right, well, we... <laughs> so there were no school trips during the war? We didn't no. have any school trips? No. no. Uh, who hasn't? Someone. Oh, you haven't, have you? Um, what school meals did you eat? <gasps> mm. We had lovely meals at this school. Nice meals, didn't we? we had roast dinners and all sorts of things like that. Yeah. yeah we had 
meat. But and I think the, I think it's things like they have no pizzas and things. And no, chips. no, no, no. Didn't have didn't have those. What, what her yeah, lot, weren't they? Oh, no. We have pizza now. I know. Yeah. Lucky you are. Yeah. I used to, I, did I tell you about the boiled cabbage you used to have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another thing about the meals, Miss Alexander made you eat the fat on your dinner plate. You had to eat it, whether you liked it or not. And you'd be there reaching and she'd stand over you. That was one well, cool ruler. bit that she used to do. Yeah. So I don't know your name, so. Harry. All sorts of puddings, didn't we? Oh, yeah, lovely puddings. Sponge puddings. Yeah. Yeah. Semolina. 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 Yeah. Hmm? And banana custard. Dark. We had lovely meals here. Mm. Yeah. Really lovely tapioca pudding. Yeah. Yes. 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 Tapioca, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had all things like that. It was lovely. And we used to have seconds if there was any left in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm. Did you ever pass for holidays? No, School holidays, like holidays, like Easter holiday, Christmas holiday, or taking time out of school. No, I didn't. Um, used to there, weren't, there weren't things like no. inset, inset days, no, we, we didn't, didn't have anything like that. No, and, and you wouldn't really think of coming out of school time for a holiday. It just wasn't sort of done in those days. You know, you had to have a real reason not to be in school. And, and, and did any of you, when you were children, in the summer go away on holiday to Devon or, or France or anywhere? No. What did you actually do in the summer holidays? I used to play up Only in the fields on the trees. Yeah, yeah. Walk, yeah. climb trees. Yeah. Yeah. Walk around the countryside, yeah. lovely countryside here. Yeah. So you stayed yeah. in Finland? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And we just used to go home dinner time for a slice of bread and jam. Mm. We used to go, yeah, up, on, we was allowed. go up to Sisbury and see if you could find any leftovers from the war. We, we did, yeah. Oh, everybody did things. that, didn't they? Yeah. 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 We used to make cakes with the yeah. Helmut Hay Bales and things like that. And just, we just yeah. used to go out in the morning and come back in the evening for dinner. And that's it. You spend all day you out. You know, punish the names. I wish I had just at the point. Yeah. What was the worst punishment? Worst, worst punishment. Worst punishment. <laughs> At this school, oh, the ruler across your hand. Never heard that. Oh, that was a speciality here, wasn't it? Harriet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And it used to come unexpectedly. Sometimes. It did. Did you have school pets? School pets. Say again. School, school pets. pets. Did you have school pets? Mm. Did you no. Have no. no. We've seen some photographs of children with rabbits, yeah. guinea pigs. Yeah. Was that the, uh, that, that, well, no. it wasn't during our time. There used to be a horse in the field at the back, which is your playing field now. Yeah. Was, oh. That was the nearest we got to a pet here, didn't we? Yeah, yeah that's right. Long to old road down, didn't it? Yeah, road down, yeah. 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 Lucky. Beaver. We couldn't, couldn't touch the horse. Let me look at it. Yeah. What were the rules? What were the, what were the rules? The rules. Rules. Mm. You just have to behave. Yeah, to behave. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. And you had to be quiet. Did yes. you? Oh, yeah. Be quiet. Yes. In class, be quiet. I think I. Yeah. No messing about. Did you yeah. have to stand up for the teacher when the teacher came in the room? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we did, done, didn't we? Yeah. Did we? Yeah. Well, I can't remember that. Uh, Mark done. Yeah. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't very well. Only, come first, in only first thing in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Only first thing. In the yeah. Yeah. A long time ago. We had nothing electronic. <laughs> a desk, a pen, pencil, and a notebook. That's it. And a blackboard, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Blackboard. blackboard. With yeah. plenty of chalk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. um, Caitlin. How big was the school when you were here? Sorry. How big was the school? How many well, children? It was, it was, it was, Three classrooms, weren't there? Just three classrooms. Yeah. And, and, um, and sometimes two of them they was Malcolm melted into two, weren't they? Yeah. And I, I, I suppose 50, 70 kids, wasn't it? 50 to 70? Yeah, around so. about that, I, wasn't it? I don't think there wasn't quite as many as No, that. it wasn't, it wasn't a very big school. No. No. They're all, but they're all people from the village. No, there wasn't, like now, I know some of you come from other areas. Um, but um, um, 
to start with, people used to come from Finland Valley, didn't they, to here? Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, they, then the Vale School was built in about 1950, wasn't it? So, yeah, that's it. So yeah. they, they, the Finland Valley people would go to the Vale School. Yeah, and, and Bob, how did that change in the war? Is it just Finland children came to this school? Yeah, it, it mainly Finland children, but then the uh, children came from London because they moved thousands out of London and they were put up in homes of, around Finland village and they came to school as well. But that pushed the numbers up and then... And they were still be classed as locals, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, and then uh, mm. it was considered safe in London, so they went back. Mm. But there were quite a few still stayed on. And then after the war, when it finished, they disappeared and you didn't know who was living in the village and where they'd gone to, because I've got a photograph here today where the, I know there's children that went back to London. <coughs> yeah. Uh, Mia? Um, how many people were in each class? Um, in there, I would say about 20. About 20, 20 would be about right. Yeah. 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 Somewhere around 20, it could be 18, it could be 22, yeah. but you know. Dennis, um, were you in World War Two or One and why? Were you in World War Two? Oh, well, me. I was there in World War Two. He was actually at Finland School in World War Two. Yeah. Somebody was asking me here today. Yeah. What, what did you do in World War One? <laughs> 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 no one. Yeah. 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 I was there in uh, the world. I can just re remember, you know, forty-four. Time, um, there were a lot of uh, Canadians at uh, Muntham, which is where the crematorium is now, and they were put up there. And uh, they were Scottish Canadians, and Scottish bands, and they, they used to march around the village to lift the spirits of the ch residents. So when, as soon as I heard the bagpipes, there was only four, and I could hear them, and I get out, run out, my dad was in the army and my mum couldn't control me. And I'd gone and I'd, I'd find the band and I'd, I'd walk in front of the band, you know, with the, <laughs> doing the same actions as the, the soldiers. And my mum gets a report that I was, it was dangerous for me being out there. So she rounded me up and said, right, you're back to, you're going to school in January and it was about four, four and a half. So I, I missed any more of that, but I thoroughly enjoyed the bagpipes and I've enjoyed them all the rest of my life. And, Brilliant. Yeah. And um, I know there was Germans in there. And were there, were they, were there any Chinese or Japanese armies in Finland? Never saw them. No. Oh. No. What was? What did you look like? What did you wear? What was a uniform like? What well, mine? Yeah. <laughs> well, lucky if you had any clothes at all. It was all, it was all rationed. And yeah. I was, I learned bird's nesting when I was at Finland School, and we used to go out. Of course, I used to get caught up in barbed wire, tear my trousers. I get back home, my mum would go spare because I've torn these trousers and she said, look, we haven't got many uh, points left on the, in the ration book <laughs> to get new. And it was, it was very difficult. And um, you couldn't afford it. Well, there was no, you there was no money. Yeah, no, no. Money was short yeah, and the uh, clothing was short. There was no school uniform at all. No. We just wore what, uh, what clothes we had. Yeah. Yeah. We'd well, normally be grey trousers if yeah. we were yeah. lucky. Yeah. Short ones. Yeah. When, I, <laughs> yeah. when I came in 1960, the school uniform was the green and the red. And the grey. Oh, so yeah. I had a. Um, yeah. I had a. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Was it um, the same subjects every day? Well, I can't remember. The same subjects same. every day. Oh, oh, I can't really remember that. No. <laughs> I can't remember. No, I, 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 no, I don't, I don't remember now. I think the vicar used to come in on a Monday. That was right, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, the vicar used to come, but come in on a Monday. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about every Monday, does, but he used, but to, come used to come in on a Monday yeah. anyway. I don't think Air Days was regimented like yours are. You have an hour at each session. I think Air just went all into one another. Well, there was no national curriculum, was there? Not really. Not really no. 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 Um, B. Um, what was the 
Water. Yeah, water. Yeah. <laughs> you should bring that oh. milk bottle with it. No, Paul's got something very oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, this is something that. Where's um, my uh, bag? Your bag. Um, and the milk would have come from Fendon Farm. You know the little antique shop down in the village? Yeah. Yeah. Well, next door to that was Fendon Farm, and they had a herd of cows there, and they used to milk their own cows and fill the, fill the bottles up, pint bottles, quart bottles, and each third a pint for the school. And uh, what used to happen is that on a morning, the boys in the, two boys in the top class would be asked to go down to the farmhouse, because don't forget there was hardly any traffic, only, only military vehicles, which you could hear them coming, all right? And uh, they go down there and pick the crate and bring it up for the children to drink. But these, these bottles had a cardboard topping. They hadn't had metal ones then, and uh, they had a straw. They used to drink that. And because uh, we were undernourished, they used to put what they called dexin in. It was like a vitamin. It's a lack of fruit, just put so many drops in, and the children would be drinking this, and they'd be, oh, oh. they didn't like it, but they had to drink it. And uh, that's what they did. And this bottle, I, I worked for the RFPB as a volunteer, and I was at, we were working at Rackham, Rackham School, which is on the Parham Estate, the Historica, and this bottle was wedged in a tree. And it had been there because the school had been closed for quite a long time. And we were, we were tidying up all the rubbish all around in the, what was the playgrounds and anywhere else in the village. And this chap pulled this bottle out. He said, oh, look at that. He said, I'm throwing that in the junk. So I thought, right, I'm going to pick that up. And that, that's the bottle I've got. It's absolutely perfect. Mm. See, that is clear as day with me. Yeah, and that's what you had. Everybody would have to drink one. Do you get milk now? You do? Yeah. yeah. Little cartons? Yeah. No. no. So, you, so, so how do you get the milk today? Does it, well, who delivers milk? There's no one that delivers it. Is it just school milk, do they? And it's just, just, just in a... Um, a supermarket? In a, yeah, yeah, it's just... Well, we have a company that delivers the milk in, well, in uh, cartons. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, right. It's like, it's not. I did one to that. Yeah, school Yes, yes, yes. One thing I remember when I was in school, I don't know if you remember this, but in the summer, the milk would get all warm. Yeah, it was really horrible. And I can remember during the winter. Yeah, it would freeze up. Yeah, yeah, the winter time was easy. When liquid freezes, it expands, and so the milk used to sort of stand about this high with the lid on top. And then the blue tits used to come and try and get as much as they could. Be. That's before we had it. They did well. They, they did. Well. Well. They did. Yeah. 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 So, that, so when I went to the uh, secondary school yeah. here, uh, carrying worthy, the boys did drink, drink the milk. So they uh, half of it be left. So you've only there one a day. So the headmaster said, well, you can have one in the morning and one at lunchtime with your meal. So we used to get two, because the, the boys wouldn't drink it. Mm -hmm. I love the milk. So that's, yeah. that's the story yeah, of the milk. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. Hey. Oh, sorry, no, no, it's not just. I've got loads of bloody gifts. What's your favourite day of well. school Friday? Probably. <laughs> Friday, I don't know, I don't know. Um, was our favourite? What was the favourite day of the week at uh, school? Fr was it Friday? Fr Friday. Friday going home. Going home for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's always the same, though, isn't it? We all, we all want the end of the week to come, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Erin, yeah. what would you say are the major changes you've seen in the village in your lifetime? What's, what's the main difference between when you were young and now? The houses. The houses. All the buildings, the yeah. And in our day, Findon was a sort of an isolated little village, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, um, and most people knew everybody. Yeah, that's another thing. We did know. We did know everybody. We did, if we didn't yeah. know them to, as friends, we knew were their names. You know, we, yeah. we knew who they who lived in each house. Yeah. Yeah. You can count the houses up. Come up to the village yeah. to walk round 
and reminisce about how it was because it's yeah. changed so much and yeah. we often say to each other, I wonder if those people living there know that's where Mr Flint used to live, who used to repair the shoes and things like that. There's all these properties and you just think, I wonder if people know what was there in those mm. days, because we can remember. Mm. Yeah. We actually yeah. used to have a police house. Yes, yeah, so there was yeah. a police house with a yeah. cell. Yeah. And, a, and, a, and, and a cell. cell. Yes, and a cell. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We've done some reading about a lollipop lady. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Ethel. 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 Yeah. 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 Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. Ethel. I can't remember that. Yeah. Ethel Anscombe. Yeah. Anscombe. That's right. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. That's right. Yeah. We think that this young man here might be a great grandson. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yes. Could be. Yeah. Could well be. Yeah. I'm yeah. oh, sorry. I'm just, just thinking. Um, how hands up if you were born in Finland? So, just, just one of you. Hands up if you live in Finland. So, yeah. And keep, keep your hands up if at least one of your parents was born in Finland. So, really, it's just your yeah. Finland, Finland family. That's the thing we yeah, do, mate. Yeah. Finland yeah. Valley doesn't count. My parents were born in Finland. Oh, Finland Valley, that's something. Yeah. That's, 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 that's the border. Yeah. I was born in England. Oh, I'm still working for them. Oh, children. Uh, uh, Gloria was talking about when she was, well, when you were a child. Yes. You and your whole... My whole family, yes. I came to this school, as did my brother and my sister and my dad. My husband came to this school, as did his sisters. And, my, and your brother. And yeah. your brother. And my brother. Yeah. And I got married at Finden Church. As did my brother, did my sister, my, um, you were there, were you? my dad, <laughs> my mum and dad. Did you hear about um, it? So we was born in Finden, came to Finden School, got married in Finden. Yeah, we got married yes, in Finden. Was, and, still, and still come back to yeah. Finden, always used to come to the Finden Sheep Fair, to the flower show, and come back to Finden just to walk around and reminisce. No. You don't know, but I'm married to this lady. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't, that, that she doesn't a, let me forget that. No. <laughs> that is a big change, if you think, isn't it? Because today people move around different parts of the That's country right. yeah. and move house. So you and your family, you may move many times, but years ago people tended to stay where they were. They only moved, usually, if something quite significant happened. Yes. The parent died or... They couldn't find work, so they had to go somewhere else for a work. But it was much less movement, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah, well, that's yeah. amazing because not, not many people had cars in those days. No. My parents didn't have cars. No, no. And uh, no, not in mine. <laughs> you know, it, we had to rely on buses. Cause, um, well, we never went nowhere. We didn't go anywhere, anywhere, did we? No. See, I used to live at North End, um, and I used to walk to school. I mean, rain, sun, shine. Snow. We just walked to school. We didn't think anything. And how often would any of you go into work? Once a week or less than that? Oh, less than that. Less than that. It'd be a sort of a special occasion when I was little. Certainly, I think, when I was these at their age. I think the most people you and me sort of went to Worthing was like in the summer holidays that's when right. we used to go down the beach yeah. Yeah. and we used to take a big rubber yeah. ring with us. That's right. Because Alan and I used to spend a lot of time together, didn't we? We, were we kids. did, yeah. And we we're very good friends. We we're mates. Yeah. 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 So, so uh, Worthing was a place of entertainment. Did you ever get entertainment coming to Worthing? Services or fairs or what well, coming to Finden, you mean? Finden, yeah, yeah. Well, the biggest day of the year was the Finden Sheep Fair. Yeah, yeah that was the best day we well, ever tell had. Tell us about yeah. that, that's because that's yeah. changed so much. Yeah, it has. Oh, well, we yeah, can remember much. the sheep actually being herded down I've the got street. A of sheep, yeah. Yeah. Up, I've got a picture of sheep. Up, up, up to the ultimate. Look, those pictures here. But the sheep fair day was was something was something that um, we looked forward to, didn't we? From from about August onwards. Um, it was fantastic. And the day of the fair, there used to be sheep absolutely everywhere. And a lot of them were brought to the fair, just they walked. They just used to come down the road. I got one. Yeah. Come down the road up to Petco. And they were all in their pens. See, look, there's a good example of what used to happen. See, there's a long furlong. Can you see the long furlong road? No cars in it, but sheep all across the road coming to the sheep fair. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Some of these pictures on the website, and then you'll be able to see them. So, yeah, there's more examples there. Look, there's, there's lots of sheep coming down near, near to the green, and the, the, the fairground is to be absolutely full of sheep, as you see. They're very old pictures, so they're not very clear. Same family, same thing. Same family with the same swing boats, yeah, yeah, yeah. horses. So that, that was our big day, wasn't it? Yeah. Very much, very much. And it used to always be on the 14th of September, except it when it fell on a Sunday. It, it now it, then it changed from the 60s to the, yeah, to the Saturday. second Saturday in September. Yeah. We all knew that. We all knew yeah. that day. And we, and we still go up there today, don't we, Tony? Yep. And when the fun fair arrived a few days before, <laughs> yeah. straight after school, he's got there and watched them assemble all the, yeah. all the uh, rides and things. We did, yeah. yeah. And, um, <coughs> Big day for us, yeah. wasn't it? I lost my West Harry school cap underneath a Dodgem car one time. <laughs> and I didn't tell my mum about it until winter came. And she says, where's your cap? Well, I got stuck under the Dodgem car. <laughs> Uh, Julie, what we're just talking about. Um, bring the sheep there. You've been in sheep Has there. anybody been to the sheep there? Yeah. Right, yeah. start off with the ones. To the, the, the side, Sussex Draw. You okay today? Not like that. Well, see, and we, when you started school, you picked this up and you all started talking in the same way. So, my friend who's in the picture here, he, he went home. He's, he picked up the accent as well. And his father didn't like this, but he, he thought this one like market enough for him. So he sent him to Shaw Grammar School I to get rid of it. Of the kids. Which she soon did. And I had the accent, and my that. mum didn't like that either. Can you give us a bit more of the accent so they get an idea of what it sounded like? Well, it's, I, can't, I can't really do it as <laughs> properly. It, it was only like a Sussex drawl. But uh, Netcote was the place where they spoke it the most. All, all the brothers at the Oppingtons, they all spoke in that way. Because they've been in the village a long, long time. Uh, so if you all went back in, in the past, you might find it really hard to have understood the people. Especially if you went back a hundred years. Yeah. Oh, hundred yeah. years ago. You yeah. would think, what language are they speaking? It would sound so different. Although it was English, it was a, a yeah. different type of English. And it's, well, it's gone yeah. now, isn't it, really? Well, yeah, there, was, yeah. there was a family in the village called Long. And they were Long, they were very really tall people. And uh, they, they worked on this farm where I said about the milk, shorts, in the village. And when that was all sold up, they went to work at Lee Farm, which is run by the Duke of Norfolk. So one day, one chap said, uh, to them, how do you get the lee farm? Oh, he says, the lorry comes over, he says, they picks up we, and he goes up the net go and picks up they. <laughs> That's exactly what he said, That's that right. was a long. So they still spoke mm. Sussex. Yeah. They were the last, so they and that, and that lorry you're talking about, yeah. is Gloria's father, he used to drive it. Yeah, he did. He oh, used right. to work for yeah. um, He Google remembered them all, didn't he? Yeah. 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 And they, they were the last, really, of the old Sussex. Yeah. In yeah. this area, far in the countryside, they probably still that Sussex way of speaking. Another thing, talking about food, while I was at Pendon School, uh, a lot of us were undernourished, which, is, which was true. So. There was a, a, a camp school up, up near Horsham, a place called Itchingfield, and when you, when you were leaving the school, you had to go to see the doctor. And if you, if you weren't 100%, they'd ask you if you would like to go to Wedges Camp School at Itchingfield near Horsham. So well, I said, cool, I'd, I'd like to go up to this camp. So, I didn't know what I was letting myself in for, and uh, I went in the year I was leaving Finders, this school, and we, I was picked up in at the gun in a, in a West Sussex County Council bus and taken to 
this wedges camp. We went there for three months at a time. And when, the, when we went in for meals, there was so much food there, I couldn't believe it. And you, you were asked if you would like seconds. And there were children from West Sussex and Eastern Hampshire there. And it was absolutely wonderful. You were out in the countryside, and uh, lovely it was. Much food as you wanted, good kids, big swimming pool there, and everything you wanted. I, I did three months there, and then never came back to the school after that. Cause Another I, thing you have that we never had when we were your age, we never had dent we could we never went to dentists or doctors like you did. They used to come to our school and out inside of the playground there used to be another building and they used to come in there and the dentists used to come and see to our teeth there and we had our injections in there where you go to a doctor. But we didn't go to doctors, we had to go to this building. Maybe that was that building. Yeah, they went to the village hall as well, didn't they? Yeah, the village hall we used to go to. Yeah. As well, yeah. Yeah. Louis. Yeah. 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 Uh, would you get lent with like a pen and uh, rubber or something like to use to write? Would you get lent it? Or would you have to bring in your own one? Well, I think we all had our own, didn't we? But yeah. if we ran out, yeah, we, used to, we used to lend it to one another. Yeah. 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 What happens if you lost um, your writing, pe your handwriting pen? Well, I suppose we did. Well, we got issued with them. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. it's not such. Yeah, we got. We'd, we'd get another one. They'd give us yeah. another one. We didn't have actual pen. We had these, like I said, with nibs in. Yeah. And if the nib broke, they would give you another nib yeah. to put so in. It was like a nib on a stick. Yeah. Their yeah. Pens were. Very yeah. expensive pens, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. Keep putting it into the inkwell. Yeah. yeah. It's not like a pen today where. No, the you see. In the pen. Similar to, to what the picture. I couldn't get. Couldn't find a picture exactly how we had ours, but they, they were stick, more or less. A, a, a nib and on the end on the end of a stick <laughs> yeah yeah and that was it all worked though well. didn't they? it all yeah. worked yeah. and and you really um after a while you could you could do some really nice writing you, you could, could get yeah. thick and thin in the letters yeah. couldn't you like you if you press if you pressed harder it would be thicker mm. the ink would be thicker yeah. and if you put it gently it would be very far in yeah there was something mm. I, I was quite keen on doing after a while, making You were quite good at that, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Neat, neat writing, yeah. And handwriting practice was something you did yeah. a lot? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 so yeah. Olivia? Were you separated from the girls and boys um, at, at playtime? No, no, no. Mm. So that was, that was one change from Victorian times, wasn't it? Yeah. They See, yeah. Were separated, right? Before I came to Finden, because I was born in Finden, then we moved away to, to Patching, and I went to Clapham and Patching School. And I say to my husband, I'm sure when I was there, they had a wall, and obviously in Victorian times, girls and boys yes. were separated. Yeah, like a, um, yeah. So um, that's what I can remember, because it's a similar sort of school as Finden here, School. We didn't have you didn't have that. No. Had the wall through, so the girls were that side, yeah. and the women teachers, and the boys were this side of the wall, but you didn't realise it was why it was there. We just accepted it, didn't we? Yeah, oh, we, did yeah. Well, did we, we didn't that. take it. Did the boys come in one entrance and the girls in the other? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. I think they filed and they just went. Yeah. I didn't know any different, no. that's how it was. Yeah. <laughs> A long time ago, before anyone here was born, in Victorian times, if you went to Worthing Beach, women had to go and swim on one part of the beach and men on another part of the beach. And once you got to about 10 years of age, if you were a boy, uh, you had to go in with your father, you couldn't go in with the mother. And it was completely, and they had big signs, women's beach, men's beach. Uh, and that, that's, that went on until probably the First World War, which seems really weird now, doesn't it? It's a bit more. <laughs> All right. How old were you when you left school? Here, we were all yeah. 11, 11, 11, 11, 11 years old. Yeah. So yeah. And when you left school completely, how old were you? I was 15. 15. 15. Yeah. What, what did you go on to do? No. Me, I became a wood machinist. Yeah. yeah I went as a plumber. I had a city yeah. in guilds. Yeah. City in guilds, yeah. 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 Went as a plumber at Worthing and stayed in the trade for 60 years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. wow. 
still doing a bit, aren't you? I, uh, yeah. I yeah, went, still I working in IT. I left school at 15 and went to um, college to learn typing, and then I worked in a garage, but eventually always worked with children and ended up working at Something Village Primary School. Mm. So that's where I was ended up. Yeah. And she only stopped going there about 18 months ago. Yeah, she used to go into a day and help. Was it? Yeah, I used yeah. to go and help. Yeah. The oldest so. picture I've got of the school is 1880. Is it? Yeah. I'll tell you something that is interesting the children were saying. That you remember we used to do maypole dancing on May Day? Yeah. yeah. They yeah. still do it. And there's, yeah, a, there's a picture good. here of 19, 1907, maypole dancing. So it's something that's been happening in this yeah. school. Yeah. Country dancing and maypole dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. I've got, yeah, I've got original one. Yeah. Yeah. We used to get in a right muddle with that. We, we, <laughs> yeah. we still yeah, do. We do. <laughs> Don't take yeah. to swear at that. Yeah. Yeah. My dad works at the gun. At the gun? My dad works at the gun. Does, Does he really? Does he? All right. Good yeah. man to know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My, mine was geography. Yeah, well, I was geography as well. Yeah, yeah. Geography now. Yeah. Other questions we know haven't been asked yet, Alison. Um, were the toilets outside? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, there was another side of the playground, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were, yeah. And in the wintertime, you always made sure you went to the toilet before you, before you came to school. That? Yeah. Any stories from the toilets? Well, I don't know if you'd want to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is. It's just in the boys, from not it? Yeah. See if they can go over the wall. Yeah. <laughs> so nobody ever did. We're going to take two, we're going to take Phoebe, and we're going to take Olivia, and then we'll finish the day. What was the class like? What was? How do you mean? You mean the room? Yeah. Room. What were the class, class rooms like? Did you ever open the fires? We did. We did. There was, there yeah. was no, the room, no yeah. central heating. And in the winter time, it was quite cold, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And we had a, in the main room, we had a big open fire. Big open fire, yeah. With a great big fire guard around it. Yeah. And the Miss Alex, Miss Alex 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 Alex. Alex. she should sit there with her back to it. Like yeah, that. and, yeah. and, yeah. We, back. Yeah. and she was on leaning against And she had quite a wide back. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> blocky out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we were sitting there, even people quite close to the fire was quite still cold. Cool. Still cold. And so, if we were to look into, into the classroom, what would it look like? What were, were the desks? Yeah, the desks. Rooms, yeah. 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 yeah, I think so. And displays? Yeah. Not a lot, really, no. Bits and pieces on the wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing yeah. like you have here, no. no. Can I just say, on behalf of the children, thank you very, very much indeed for coming in. It's, we've, we've it's been a pleasure. It's been lovely. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah. Children, what do we say? Thank you. Yeah. And thank you very much, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to see a funny picture of this man here? No, 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 no. no. You don't want to see that. School, school play. Have you heard of Sputniks? Any, any, uh, it's a, it's a spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a spice. <laughs> 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 yes, when he was, when he was about nine or ten years old, about your age.